Good afternoon. My name is Gene Thorpe, and I work as a cartographer in the Office of the Geographer at the U.S. Department of State. Today I'll be speaking briefly about how to create professional perspective maps quickly using Google Earth Pro and Adobe products. This technique works best generally on large-scale maps where height variations are significant and noticeable. For this presentation, I'll be using a map created outside of work for the Medal of Honor Museum showing the locations of where Medal of Honor recipients were cited for having distinguished themselves in the fighting around the Chosen Reservoir during the Korean War. To create this map, I used the following applications. Google Earth Pro on desktop, Natural Scene Designer, Adobe Photoshop, Adobe Illustrator, and Avenza Map Publisher. The first step to create a perspective map this way is to set the map scope. In this example, Medal of Honor recipient sites, Chinese force assault locations, and the UN withdrawal routes were researched and plotted in Google Earth to determine the map extent. After assigning the map scope, a base map needs to be made which will be used to drape over the terrain in Google Earth Pro. Your drape map should be projected so it will align better when imported into Google Earth. This custom drape base map was created in two dimensions like any other map you would normally make. For the perspective technique to be effective, your custom map should have shaded relief. I usually leave text, symbols, and labels off of the drape map. I found it is generally more effective to add those elements in Adobe Illustrator after the perspective map has been created. In Illustrator, these elements reproduce more clearly and can easily be edited at the last minute without having to re-render an entire scene for a spelling error. This drape map was created using SRTM data, processed and projected in Natural Scene Designer, then adjusted in Adobe Photoshop. The road and hydrography data were processed using Adobe Illustrator with Avenza Map Publisher. The raster shaded relief data was imported into Illustrator and the entire finished drape 2D map was then exported in JPEG format to a projects folder. You should also make a white JPEG file exactly the same size and resolution as the scope area. The next step is to bring your two-dimensional drape map into Google Earth Pro. Open Google Earth, set it to full screen, and zoom to your area of interest. Turn off the terrain layer. Use the Add Image Overlay button to import your custom drape map and register it. This can be done manually by using the image corners and rotation diamond to align roads, rivers, and boundaries to Google Earth vector data. You can also import your own shapefiles like those used in the 2D drape map and align to them. Next, set your view angle. Turn back on the terrain layer and turn off your registration layers. Find the perspective angle that works best for your purposes. When choosing a view, make sure there's always space around all sides of the scope area. You can adjust the terrain height through preferences, 3D view, and elevation exaggeration. When you find just the right view, save it by dropping a Google Earth place mark anywhere. Give the place mark a descriptive name and click OK. Control click on the place mark and select Snapshot View to set it for future use. Test the view setting by zooming to someplace else in the world. Then double click the marker in your places window to ensure it brings you back to the same desired view. Save the place marker to your projects folder as a backup. Turn off the place marker's visibility. Use this marker to return to this exact view anytime you need to restart Google Earth. Now it's time to make the mask. Copy and paste your drape map in the places window of Google Earth. Rename the new layer with mask in the name and replace the image with the white mask file you made earlier. You should now have a layer in the Places window with your custom drape and another layer with the white mask. 
we're now ready to export the drape and mask layers to Photoshop. Turn off all places except for the map drape and turn off all layers except for terrain. Go to File, Save, Save Image, and under Map Options, unclick All Elements. Change the resolution to maximum 4,800 pixels by 3,591 pixels. Then save the image to your projects folder with a name like your project hyphen drape. Turn off the drape layer. Turn on the white mask layer, then save this image with the same specifications above, but with a different name like your project dash mask. We're now ready to crop out the image area in Photoshop. Open both exported images in the same Photoshop file with the mask layer on top and the drape layer on the bottom. Both layers should line up exactly. Use the magic wand tool to select only the white area on the mask layer. Sometimes manual cleanup is needed around the edges. Turn off the visibility for the mask layer and make the drape layer visible and active. With your selection still active, open the layers window and click the Add Vector Mask button to isolate the map scope area. Save your Photoshop working file for backup, then export the drape layer as a TIFF, JPEG, or PNG for use in Adobe Illustrator. Move the images into Illustrator for final design and production. Open the drape file in Illustrator and size to fit the space you have available. Make a new layer. Trace a polygon using the edge of the scope area as a guide to be used as an elevation cutout. This will help emphasize the terrain elevation change. Give your polygon a gradient fill to your liking. I prefer mine to give the impression that the terrain was cut out from the ground. Add to your 3D map labels, symbols, text, arrows, a locator map, a legend, a title, an intro, and a scale box, and then send to your client for review. I hope you enjoyed this presentation and found it useful. Thank you for your time. I'm looking forward to your questions.